So before we move ahead, we'll see an overview about the SAP warehouse management functionalities. So the topics we're going to cover in this video, they are overview of uh, the WM activation in SAP system, transfer order concept, WM MM interface, WM SD interface, WM PP interface, and WM QM module interface. So we'll start with the WM activation. So how we activate uh, warehouse management in the SAP system. So basically, as you can see in this screen, that a warehouse management system will be activated as soon as the storage location is linked to a warehouse number. So in if you, as you know about the standard SAP MM system, we have a plant and under a plant we have a storage location. So as soon as you link or assign a warehouse number under a storage location, this will be activated for the warehouse management. So on the right hand side, you can see for the plant 1200, the storage location 0001, we do not have any um, any warehouse number assigned this one. So this is a not a warehouse managed location, but story location 120 and 140 is, and the warehouse number assigned is 120. So now we'll discuss about the WM interface. So as we have seen before, uh, as we have talked before that when a storage location is linked to a warehouse number immediately the warehouse number will be uh, the the warehouse concept will be activated and system will ask for the relevant data now in this screen as you can see here that there is the screenshot is showing that there is no wm tab because this where this look uh, store location is not a wm activated so that is why you can't see a extra tab here but in the next screen if you see in this screen, you can see there's a WM tab here. So if you look at the red circle, you can see there's a WM tab here. Why? Because this, this the store location within this um, um, transaction is linked to a warehouse number. So let's see this one practically. So I already created one, pur one purchase order in the system that I'm going to show you that how the WM tab will be displayed and in the micro transaction. So I already created this order number, uh, purchase order number 45001981 and this order you can see I entered a plant here. So I entered a thousand plant, plant number thousand here, but there's no storage location here. But in, in this system there's a lot of storage location. Some storage location are linked to the warehouse number but not all, all of them. So if I do a MIGO on this one, let's see what happens. So if I do a MIGO. And if I enter this order number, enter. Now here you can see system picked up the, at the bottom you can see it picked up the plan number. But store, store location number if I enter, for example, if I enter the store location number 0001, let's, let's see what happens. You can't see any W1 tab here. I can still post the goods, the goods receipt, but still there's no, um, WM tab here because 001 is not linked to any warehouse number. But if I remove this and enter another store location which I already created, let me show you. Um, and which I link to a warehouse number. So that's the last one I created. So if I pick up this one, that's GS1. And now keep an eye here if I press enter. You can see this is a WM tab activated. Why? Because as I said, this store location is linked to a warehouse. So you can see there's a WM tab here and it will ask for the WM related data. So that's how the, the activation works in the for the WM. So 
there so we'll talk about more about this one in the next videos where i will show you from scratch how we can customize um, from scratch a warehouse number store location and all the org structure in the later videos before we move ahead uh, i want you to know about the transfer order concept in the warehouse management system so what is where transfer order concept so basically all the goods received and all the goods issue hap happening in WM, they are always run around the transfer order concept. So for example, in this workflow, you can see that during goods received, what happens is a transfer requirement is generated and that will further generate a transfer order. So here in this screen, as you can see, we're doing the goods receipt, which is using the micro transaction. On the right hand side, we have a warehouse concept. So first of all, as soon as, as soon as you complete your micro transaction, system will create transfer requirement and that transfer requirement will further generate a transfer order. And now let, in the next step, we'll confirm the transfer order that will finish the goods receipt process. So what I want to tell you to understand is the things are moved around using the transfer order concept in the warehouse management system. So the same thing happen if you go to the next screen where we have the goods issue. So when we're doing a goods issue, same thing happen as when you start the goods, goods issue process, a transfer order will be created again. So here in this screen, as you can see, a transfer order is created, which we further will, will, will we can confirm it. We'll talk about this one later on, what's the confirmation process and how a transfer order is created. But just for understanding, you need to know that a transfer order will be created for goods, goods issue and also for uh, goods receipt. So in theory, transfer order, the, tra the transfer order is the document that is used to execute all material movements in the warehouse. The goods receipt and goods, goods issue posting generates a transfer requirement which forms the basis for uh, warehouse management activities in terms of planning and posting. A put away or picking activity with a transfer order completes the process. Completes the process of transfer order concept. So that's all about the transfer order. Now we'll talk about uh, the overview about the MM, WM and SD interface. We'll talk more about these topics, this interfaces in the later videos with more practical approach, but this is just an overview for you. That how the warehouse management is uh, linked to a sales and distribution uh, process. So as you know, if you have some background in SAP or if you know about how the sales order processing in SAP, you might know that what happens is we have a sales order or we can have a STU as well, okay, stock transfer order. So from sales order, we have, we, next step is we create an outbound delivery from the outbound delivery, then if we're not using if you're not using the warehouse management, the straight away we do the goods receipt. But if you're using the warehouse management, then these three steps will be extra steps. The red ones will be the extra steps. So after the outbound delivery, a transfer order will be created. And using the picking strategy, the, tr the transfer order will further go for the confirmation of the transfer order. So as soon as the transfer order is confirmed, the post goods issue will happen as we normally do in delivery and then the invoicing will happen. So that's the process in the uh, SD interface. Now we'll talk about the PP interface, which is a production planning interface with warehouse management. So same thing what happens is here. So here, same thing. We start with release as soon as you release a production order in SAP, it will create a transfer requirement for the bomb components. And using the picking strategy, a transfer order will be created and confirm the transfer order, the goods will be issued. Same goes for the QM, which is a quality management module. What happens is you start as soon as your goods received, which is you're doing the MIGO for the quality inspection goods a transfer order will be created and then a, a transfer order will go for the confirmation of transfer order and put away will happen. So again, as I said, we'll talk about in detail about more practical approach uh, in the later videos. So this is just an overview for you. So in recap, now we learned about overview of the how we can activate uh, 
warehouse management in SAP, what is the transfer order concept, the interface between MM and WM, SD, PP and QM. So that's all about this and thank you for watching this video. Uh, we'll talk more about in the next videos. Thank you.